Hi there, Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces talking about how electric fireplaces are eco-friendly. Climate scientists agree that we need to reduce our carbon emissions in order to control or have some sort of lid on global warming and climate change. We're not doing it fast enough, we really need to step it up. So your choice of fireplace matters when it comes to controlling your own personal carbon emissions and your carbon footprint. There's a really easy way to do that. Most of us are choosing a fireplace for aesthetics. We're not heating our homes anymore. It's no longer a necessity. It's a want rather than a need. So how can you make a really simple choice that helps the environment as well? An electric fireplace has zero carbon emissions. A gas fireplace is burning a fossil fuel and that burning of a fossil fuel is producing carbon emissions and so just by choosing electric over gas, you immediately eliminate that source of carbon emissions from your home's carbon footprint. The good news is that by eliminating those carbon emissions and choosing electric over gas, you also make some choices that are very good for your wallet. So it's a win-win decision. Because electric fireplaces do not have carbon emissions and nothing is burning, I don't need to vent an electric fireplace. When I vent a gas fireplace, the cost of installation goes way up and sometimes that venting can be really pricey depending on the situation and the home that I'm putting it in. And of course, because I have to vent to the outside, I'm limited in where I can put that gas fireplace. With an electric fireplace, I have zero venting and I can put the fireplace anywhere I want in the home. So I've saved money on installation simply by choosing electric over gas, but the savings continue. The ongoing cost of running an electric fireplace are far less than running a gas fireplace. So if I have an electric fireplace on with flames only, which are LED lights, very low energy, I can run it 365 days a year, four hours a day, and it will cost me less than $5 for the entire year. Let's say I need the heater six months of the year for those four hours a day and the rest of the time is just flames. That's going to cost me well under $200 a year and these costs are based on electricity costs here in my part of southern Ontario. You can do your own calculations and figure it out in your area. You couldn't possibly run a gas fireplace for that amount of money and you certainly couldn't run the fireplace 365 days a year because it's, it's just too hot with a gas fireplace. So the cost of installation is less, the cost of ongoing operation is less. And then I also have the ability to use my electric fireplace for zone heating. Zone heating is keeping this area that I'm working in warm while I turn down the thermostat on the rest of the house and intentionally reduce the heat output from my furnace when I'm not using the rest of the house. That lowers my energy bills. And the reason I can do that with an electric fireplace is because the heat is an appropriate amount of heat for the average room in my home. It can warm up 400 square feet with, if I choose to put the heater on and I have complete control over the amount of heat or I can have no heat. I cannot do that with a gas fireplace because generally the heat output is more than I need for most rooms in my home and I don't have as much control over it. So by using my electric fireplace for zone heating and then reducing my overall heating bill, I have another cost saving. So it's a win-win to reduce carbon emissions and also save myself some money by choosing an electric fireplace over gas. And you can read all of the details behind this on our stylish blog at stylishfireplaces.ca.